Good morning, y'all. Pete with Green Dreams, and I want to bring to you this morning my number one pro tip. This has been the biggest game changer for us here, especially in Florida. You know, very sandy soils, very low cation exchange. That's the soil's ability to actually retain nutrients. So what I have sitting next to me here is a pile of local tree trimming mulch. Um, first thing I'll point out about this mulch, you know, typically where you're speaking, if you're, especially if you're in a more city-like area, this is a waste product. You know, most companies actually have to pay to go to the dump and get rid of this material. Um, you know, I look at it as one man's trash is another man's treasure. This stuff is game changer. So depending on where you're at, you know, what we look for here in central Florida is oak mulch. This whole central region of Florida, that pioneer species, that climax species is oak. So, you know, oak, the bacteria, that fungi is already present to break this stuff down. So when we introduce this to our soils, you know, the worms start working in this right away. And there's a huge difference between tree trimming mulch and box store mulch that you're going to go to get from you know home depot lowe's you know one of your local landscape supply places you know that is pure carbon that is pure wood when we're getting this stuff from the tree companies it has the twigs in it the leaves in it you know we're getting that carbon nitrogen ratio so i can go on for probably an hour about all the benefits of mulch in your system one of the main things i can tell you is retaining moisture and promoting fungal growth mycelium you know we find mycelium to be like the internet and we have no internet in standard agriculture. I mean, it's 2017, folks. If we don't have internet, you know, what do we have out here in the garden? So mycelium, and I'm gonna show you a little patch of mycelium here. This web that you see, this is the, how the plants communicate. They actually say that mycelium can take humidity out of the air and transpire it to water in the soil. So when we're really dry, this mycelium is going to take our humidity in Florida and actually put it into the ground as moisture. So a couple quick things. I am definitely far from the mushroom expert. And if this, you know, excites you at all and you want to learn more about mushrooms, I would suggest looking into Paul Stamets. He's the leading source as far as I'm concerned with mushrooms if you don't have a local guy like Mike Hall Stevens or Ben Dion here in Florida. Um, so I look at mushrooms like the fruit of an apple tree. You know, when we see that mushroom come out of the ground, that's the fruit off of the tree. The whole entire tree, that entire system is underneath the ground. That's that mycelial web, you know, and Paul Stamets has posted these videos and he talks about it a lot, you know, how they've done studies, how plants can communicate. And when they have a plant that's in a pot, they don't have that communication through that mycelial web. So that one plant will get the pest and all the other plants get that same pest. But when those same plants are in the ground and they're connected through the mycelium, they have the communication. That one plant gets the pest, it tells the other plants to put off the receptors to stop that pest. So, you know, promoting this mycelium growth in the soil, I can't say enough about it. It's game changing. Um, you know, mulch, retaining moisture. This is like a living cistern throughout my whole farm. You know, we, we're in Florida. Um, you know, I don't have any ponds. I don't have any cisterns. I have a living cistern on my floor. You know, by building up this six inch layer of mulch, when it rains, it's keeping that water there for a much longer period of time to where it would have just ran off. You know, it's stopping that overland flow. Even though we don't have a lot of slope, it's stopping it from puddling in one area and keeping that water where it hits the ground. So, you know, mulch. Um, I can't say it enough. So contact these tree services that are local in your area, you know, power line trimming companies, anybody that's doing this type of tree work in your area and ask them, you know, hey, I live over here. I'm looking for hardwood mulch. Another thing I'll point out, you want to avoid invasive species. So things like if we're in Florida, carrot wood, Brazilian pepper, you know, China berry, anything we don't want popping up in the garden, we probably don't want that in our mulch. So that's why we always look for a hardwood mulch. You know, typically whatever that pioneer species, that climax species is in your area is gonna be that best hardwood for your area. So mulch, game changer.